Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Fox 17 Rock and Review. So glad to have the godfather of funk, the one and only George <laughs> Clinton. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh. You know, uh, you've won Grammys, Dove Awards, MTV Awards. Uh, so, I, you're a Harmon Pro ambassador. Oh, you know, for music gear, the doctorate, uh, doctorate with Berkeley, Berkeley. Uh, alumni from Motown, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Prince inducted you. Yeah, all of that stuff. And you're just hitting your stride. And we're now. just getting started. Yeah, you know, you had your book come out a few years ago, and I know now it's come out in paper. Yeah, brothers, be yo like George. Ain't that funkin' kind of hard? <laughs> I love that title and for that a, book. And an album that came out that coincided with it called First You Gotta Shake the Gate, which was um, Funkadelic. Right. You know, in the same title, Ain't That Funkin' Kind of Hard, and you was the single. Wow. Now we got a single out on Parliament. Yes, you do. I'm going to make you sick of me. Now, I think you've got a, a Scarface on that with you? Scarface is on there, too. Yeah. Along with Mudbone Cooper, who was the lead singer on Bootsy Rubber Band. Yeah. I'd rather be with you. Who you help produce. Yes. And so you've got, you've got a new single out. You've got a new video coming out, the album rolling out. Yeah, and video coming out with it. Yeah. And, and yeah. so the name of the album is Medicaid Fraud Dough. Fraud Dough. Yeah. Medicaid so, fraud. How awesome is that? So I wanted to talk with you a little bit, George. You know, you've got such an incredible history, and I think a lot of us, a lot of the viewers, know you from the great music that you've done through the years, you know, with Atomic Dog that you did with, you know, Funkadelic and Parliament and everything. A lot of viewers may not know that, you know, you got your, your start, you know, kind of, you know, doing doo-wop bands. Oh, that was in the 50s, uh, 1956 and 7. Frankie Lyman was the inspiration at the time. Frank and I'm in the teenagers, why do fools fall in love? Right. That was the inspiration. And by the time you get to 59 and 60, it was Smokey Robinson and the Miracles in Motown. And you guys were called the Parliaments at the, the time. The Parliaments at the time. Yeah. And we got a hit record. I just want to testify. <laughs> you know, after that, we went to Funkadelic, dropped the S on Parliament. Right. And it was... Now, did this also, world. did this lead you to, uh, to writing songs for Motown? Because then you worked for Barry Gordy in well, Motown. 60, like I said, 50, 60, mm -hmm. that was the dream of everybody. So by 62, we had visited Motown out in Detroit. Didn't get on as an artist, but came back to New York and got a job as a songwriter. Wow. For Joe Bett. Yeah. In the Brill building, um, you know. The building where he Carol Kings and <laughs> all the Don Kirshner yeah. and all of that crew, the tokens, everybody that wrote those great songs oh. were there. Just amazing. Well, you yeah. know, and, and we were talking to before we came down to the studio, George, it's like you've inspired so many artists through the years and, and so many, you know, uh, popular musicians have borrowed from you. Even when Prince was inducting you into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, he was talking how after seeing one of your shows and concerts, it inspired him to go write Erotic City. Oh, yeah. Funk is <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> you know, but it also gave me some place I could call when I needed it get a new deal. Yeah. I was calling him to him, I got some funk here. He said, send it to me. <laughs> and like you said, I sent it, I peed on it, sent it to him. Yeah. He peed on it. And now, so we got some, we got some interesting stuff that we did together. Well, you know, I think what is so uh, amazing to me, George, I got to tell you, as, as a musician as well, is that you merge all these different music styles. You know, it's like, it's not like you're going with like one genre of music. You know, you pulled from like Jimi Hendrix, you pulled from Motown, you pulled from all these areas. Well, coming from a, a publishers, you know, songwriters, you learn to respect all the styles of writing. It, it's, it's no, no, I'm not married to none of them. Right. Whoever needs a song, you try to get a song that fit that style. Mm -hmm. So having done that, like I say, in the Brill Building, I have respect for new stuff, especially stuff that get on your nerve. <laughs> you know, this, the kid stuff that yeah. get on your nerve, that's usually your sign that it's the next thing. <laughs> so you learn to hurry up and start liking that. Right. As soon as it get on your nerve, Figure out a way to like it. That's it. You know, that, and we were yeah. talking, you know, uh, about the mothership is, is actually in the Smithsonian now. Yes. Yes. That's where it's parked at. So we have to live up to the mothership now. 
by going around selling out every show without the monthly ship. You know, which is amazing, though, too, George. I wanted to bring up that you're traveling with your grandchildren as well on the big Mardi Gras tour right now, and you're yeah. selling out every show. Every show, they, they bring in a new brand of funk to turn me on <laughs> to what's happening on the Internet in the Kendrick Lamars and the Flying Lotus right. and the Cats. And, you know, so I see what's happening, so I'm able to participate. Well, you know, and, and I got to ask yeah. you, George, as, as the visionary of funk and the style of music, you know, seeing what the young people are doing with it today, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about them carrying on the tradition oh, that you started back in the I day? I stick my chest out, you know, to have funk be the DNA for all of the, like I say, stuff that's going on. And for them to give us that respect. I feel good. I feel like I got something else to contribute. Well, you know, I, I think it's, it's amazing that we still have you around to go out and perform, and you still got your voice, and you still I ain't you know, going nowhere. You can't, know, you can't get rid of me. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to. I mean, you bring I, it. You bring it to the show. I'm and, bringing it. And, and like we were talking about before we came in studio too, George, the young people respect you, and and they know your music as well. I mean, you know, they're they're listening. Going, well, I oh, think that's because we respect them and see what they're doing with it. That it, it goes both ways. Right. Like I say, and from being the DNA for this, all of this, I'm glad to be a part of that. I keep going back to your old school stuff because I just can't help myself. Well, you know, that, you that know we all stuff old. Did. Everybody have their era that they, <laughs> that they might be partial to when yeah. the funk was really happening. Yeah. You know, but I lived through all of it. So. <laughs> I'm and still survived it. Yeah, and I'm keep on going. No, but I, I gotta, loved it. I got to yeah. say, too, for our viewers, though, the new song sounds incredible and still sounds like you, George. Oh, yeah, we, we, we had to make sure we did that. And what's really deep, um, Junie Morrison did the track who did, you know, Ohio Players. He did One Nation with us, Knee Deep. So it's a chemistry that people may feel familiar with. Mm -hmm. That would be the... That's an, and he passed just as we finished doing oh, the song. Geez. So incredible you got it accomplished then. Yes. So I just want to make sure that our viewers know, you know, if, uh, you know, to, to see George Clinton on tour, um, check out the website, which is uh, George Clinton forward slash, I think, tour. At management. At, at, and and then uh, you can find him on tour. You can find him on all the social media. And then uh, also be sure and check out the new single, the uh, the new album rolling out, the brand new video. Yes. And your your great autobiography is finally in paperback. Yes. And then you're already working on new stuff. Never stop. Like I said, we always got to stay ahead of people on All Stars coming out with um, One Nation Under Sedation. Wow. Yeah. And are you still producing too? Other oh, artists? We still. I mean, all up in everybody's business. <laughs> That's because everybody wants you, George. I want to be in there. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. The godfather of funk, George Clinton. Be sure and check out the new single, the album, the book. See this man on tour. He's still bringing it every day and bringing his family with him. We're gang related. <laughs> it is the one and only <laughs> George Clinton. Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rock and Review. Roof. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.